In this video I'm going to show you how to do amateurization calculations on your HP 12C. And to do this we'll just jump into an example where we're going to do a loan amateurization. So for this example we've got a 30 year mortgage at 4%, it's fixed rate, and we're compounding it monthly and the loan value is $250,000. So we're going to find the first and second year of the amortization schedule. So let's just start by extracting out the information. So we've got 4% um, per year. It's been compounded monthly. So we'll change this to years. It's a neat trick to do that. The number of periods will be 30 times 12, because it's 12 months in a year. And the present value is 250,000. That's going to be positive because of our um, cash flow convention. And obviously, um, the future value is going to be zero because we're going to pay back all of the loans so that will go to zero. So the first step in this calculation is to ensure that your calculator is completely clear so that by doing function and clear x that clears absolutely everything and it's good to get in a habit of doing that. So let's enter all of the payment um, all of the values into our calculator and then press the payment button that's the first step in the calculation, so so see those values. So if you press 4, and then you press G, and then the interest button, you see you've got this 12 divide, that divides that by 12, so you're getting the monthly interest. So we'll do a similar thing for um, N, so if we just put in 30, then press G, and then in the N button we've got 12 times, so that's 360. Um, now let's do the present value, which is 250,000. This is going to be positive, and we'll just put that into the present value. And then zero goes into future value, and if we press payment, it will calculate what payments are made. Now we can do the amateurization. So let's do the first one. So um, we're amateurizing the payments at n equals zero. So put in zero, and then n so we're overwriting that value and then if we press 12 so it's 12 months so what and what the amortized payment at 12 months and then function and then you've got l more above n and that's going to do that calculation you get this value which i've rounded here um just for space so you can this is also calculated what um, principal is paid and we can switch to that by using the X Y button which is here so let's just switch so that gives us this value here uh, if I move that up and we can also calculate the remaining balance simply by pressing recall and then present value so recall is sort of a remember button I like to think of it as so we've pressed recall and then um, present value so we're not wanting to change that value so press recall first and that says we've got 245,597 and a bit. That's what we've got left to pay. All right, so if you wanted to find the next values, I've just got the steps here. So really, we're just repeating what we've done. Um, so if you notice, if you press recall and N, we're up, we've changed N to 12, because we've bumped up 12 um, months. So we can do the same to get at the end of the second year. So if we press 12, function, amort, we get this value, um, x, y, we can see what the principal paid back is. This is increased because we've paid some of the loan, our interest costs are lower. And then if we press um, recall present value, we can see the new principal. And of course, every year it's going down and it'll be going down faster and faster and faster as more and more of the principles paid off so the interest costs are lower. So that's um, the basic idea of the amortization calculations for loans on your HP 12C. Hopefully this video has been helpful and thank you for